The rare honor Kakan for of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, is calling on traditional rulers in the Southwest to seek cultural rebirth by recognizing tradition of their communities. Mr. Adams spoke during the celebration of this year's Okota Festival in Arigidi Akoko, Akoko Northwest local government area of Ondo State. Ayodeji Muradeo reports. <laughs> It was a celebration of the rich cultural heritage of Arigidi Akoko in Akoko Northwest local government area of Undo State as the Asian town came alive for the 2023 Okota Festival. Traditionalists converge on Arigidi Akoko to celebrate the Anna Festival amid pomp and ceremony. <laughs> The area on Okakamfo of Yoruba land, Gani Adams, who is the promoter of the festival, urged traditional rulers across the southwest to embrace initiatives that can help sustain culture and tradition of the Yoruba people. According to Adams, there is the need to recognize and identify with the culture and tradition of the community. It stressed that it is time to turn a quarter festival into an event that will attract tourists across the globe. There's a big difference between culture, religion, and tradition. We need to open our minds to accommodate people of other faiths. I am using this opportunity to appeal to all our traditional rulers in Nakoko to look up to this and build a spiritual connection between the past and present for the progress of our Koko land. The sake of Arigidi Akoko and royal host Obayisa Olalipekun said the festivals continue to foster unity in the community. Other monarchs urged indigenous of Arigidi Akoko to support the traditional institution and in ensure peace and unity in the town. We, are, we just created, created it and be celebrating it. He has purpose and he has what he is he was. That's why we are celebrating it. First of all, the government they will have to give the traditional rulers a constitutional role to play because it matters a lot. Thereafter, government should look into the issue of our culture. The annual Okota Festival is steadily opening up Arigri Akoko to tourists but needs government support to expand. Ayodeji Muradeyo, TVC News, Arigri Akoko. Cultural Group Pijo Youth Council in an election conducted at the IYC Central Zone, but a disagreement over the conduct of the electoral process has seen some key players denounce the election, as Joseph Kunde tells us. With armed security on the ground, the rescheduled IYC elections is held at the Gabriel Okara Cultural Center in Yanagua with some notable aspirants and their agents present to witness the process. 110 accredited delegates partake in the election conducted by the new electoral committee overseen by the acting president, Sylvia Olali. After sorting out the entire votes cast, Jonathan Lopobri is declared the new president of the IYC having pulled a total of 47 votes to defeat his closest rivals Benjamin Appa with 15 votes and Ibilade Ekerefe with 14 votes. To the founding fathers and leaders of our struggle, thank you for your painstaking efforts to ensure that this successfully comes to an end. My fellow contestants who ran this race with me, you made it so eventful. Thank you. Let me assure you that nobody is a loser in this process. We are all winners because the young nation will win. The election is hailed for its transparency as the new executives are taxed with uniting the entire Ijo youths across all divides. They must champion the cause for which the IYC was formed and which is uh, entrenched in the Kayama Declaration. Address the problem of persistent crisis during transition. We need the IYC to complement the efforts of the INC to ensure that the Ijo people and the Niger Delta people get a proper place in Nigeria. The new executives take the oath of office as they express confidence and commitment to fulfill the mandate of the body as enshrined in the Kayama Declaration. 
we cannot continue to lay the golden egg and have nothing to show for it. It is my honest conviction that we shall challenge the status quo to ensure that our people have a space to participate in this oil and gas business that is happening in our region. Today they are piping gas from our region to as far as Morocco and there's no German participating. If we are united, I can tell you this country will listen to us. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa. And in Delta State, the government has given a last notification to owners of buildings and waterways to vacate as a demolition of such structures will be carried out to check the perennial flooding in some areas. The director special duties to the Delta State government, Frank Omari, who embarked on a sensitization exercise in Wari South and Owe Council, says that there is no sacred cow. Ikenamichi has more. Three weeks ago, Governor Sheriff Oborowori ordered the demolition of any building erected on the waterway while inspecting the drainage system to tackle flooding in Wari and Efron. Today, ahead of the planned demolition exercise, which is imminent, Director of Special Duties is out on the streets to give final warning to owners of building on the drainage system to vacate. Every building. At Oboroke in Wari South, this building is right on the waterway, leaving the water to take narrow paths. There are other structures obstructing the water course, which are marked for demolition. In Ekpa, Uwea local government area, this wood market is situated on a canal. It will be demolished to make way for water. We've heard about it before, but we are still going to put our heads together to know what to do. This particular building behind me is one of the many buildings standing on a waterway and will definitely go down. And what is happening right now is that information, sensitization is given to them to ensure that they move their property. The sensitization ahead of the demolition ended at Uti Street and Alegbo. My office has been directed by the governor of Delta State to go around and identify and pull down those structures that are the blocking the water, natural waterways. It's not going to be selective. For the Delta State government, this is just one of several moves to ensure environmental restoration in the state. We, will, we are going to give them little time. Little time can be tomorrow, little time can be next month. So if you know you are in Delta State and you're, you're, you build under the, water, uh, on, on the waterways, or you see the drainages that the government has done so far as a dump site, we cannot allow you to go. The message to defaulters is clear, as the government is determined to take necessary actions to make the state better. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Efron, Delta State.